Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks with Black Nike. I hope you are sitting comfortably because we are going to take a kind of a roller coaster ride. So also as a subscriber view Rocket Soldier sent me two replays so this is another subscriber video and this time about Rocket Soldier 1078 so well we are going to let's watch well just watch his video He's trying to troll Steam or his enemy. <laughs> yeah. How do you not play fair in World of Tanks? Well, you take your tank, undress, kill a goat, make a cross on your tank, and then surround it. Make. <laughs> Rocket soldier, you so silly. Oh, what the fuck? Yes, you 100 Y shot him in the back. In the back. Out. Why? Uh, what? Let's see. We got a shot into him. We start moving back. And it seems he actually left. So, that guy just, well, shot him in the back and then left the game. Now it seems he's being shot at again. So, well, let's see what's happening then. It seems they've stopped firing at him, so... can now move forward a bit more comfortably. He actually got a minus one score now. And his tank has become blue, so... He's a team killer now. Happens. We do not want to shoot KB-1 as a in the back. But they're behind 1-7. And what the fuck is that M4, M37 doing? Is he actually trying to kill him? Now he's dead. So. He's being shot at by two guys at the moment. And he is still alive, but he does have to take care with his moves now. He says sorry. What the fuck? Well, at least when he's pissed off, he does play good. So, and that's a second kill, although one was a team kill. And his score is now 1. Uh, 0 actually. And he sees that the other flank actually fell. And he actually has to defend now. Puts a shot to the side of the cave to the rear of the cave one as it misses. Oh bad luck. We've lost a cave one as now. There's cave one as and a T150 left in our team. And his split teammate in the helicopter is still alive as well. As well, they are working together. It seems he has a bit of trouble keeping his mouse still. I'm wondering what he is thinking. I don't really mind. Cave one is putting kind of a big pull on the gas. 
Archie, shot by Archie, and shot by... Oh, not anymore, by that. Enemy KP1S. And now he gets a second kill. T40. And there's Tuk3. Yes, and he moved forward as well. And there's Tuk3. And he's not reloaded yet. And there, the Covenanter actually came back. And he just killed the Stoop 3 as well. So that's two, three kills. Actually four kills because he had a minus one score. But at this moment it doesn't really matter anymore. Because, well, 9-12 is three tanks versus four tanks and two artillery. They are in quite some, in quite some trouble. And oh dear, that gave you on this. Let's aim, take your time. When you hit him, it has to be good. Yeah. That's another kill. And they are working perfectly together. Covenant actually doing a great job. Keeping some enemies spotted in the front at first without taking any damage. And now again he's going for the spot. He knows that if he spots the enemy VK, that they can win this. And well both of them take up a sniping position to put fire in that VK the moment it gets spotted. But there, spotted, but they can't hit it. So it seems they have to move forward. To make sure this will be a victory. But now something terrible has happened. VK finished off the Covenant. Seems he got tracked and couldn't go back in time. So now they are blind and not really high on health. VK shows himself. Where did he go? He pulled back. Now the, there's a teammate saying, wait, and they will come. And well, we already know that they will come because they still have two artillery. And if they can at least shoot a little bit at the correct positions, they know that they can win it by using the artillery. But there still is one tier 5 medium tank. AFK somewhere, or moving somewhere. So, well, and this is a pretty tight spot they are at, and Red Red isn't standing still. And, well, Rocket Soldier explaining here. That, well, they're not actually losing as hard as he would expect, but he was shot to 25% just by his team. And, well, that's really strange. And, well, it's all thanks to that SU-100Y, who actually shot him in the back of the turret. He could have ammo wrecked him with that shot. But, well, SU-1, one SU-100Y, if he had to 200 shots into Rocket Soldier there, that would have hurt. Massive. He would actually be dead. And they're actually now waiting for those two medium tanks to come off their arms and try to spot them. And they know that it's Red Red's Hellcat. They will spot them faster than they will spot uh, then the enemy will spot them. And they're now actually waiting for a draw. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. With a times two speed up. And well. Rocket Soldier isn't waiting around, Red Red is deciding, yeah, if he's going, I'm going too. Together we can one-shot almost any T-34 
tank we come across it bit. So right now they decided we are going right to this location and see if we can do something right. Red Red knowing he's fast and having more view range is moving forward and there goes the M37. I actually decided I'm not going to wait for those two stinking medium tanks to spot for me because they aren't. I understand. When you spot, you die. At least, that's what most think. That VK could have moved around in quite a short time, but instead he didn't. And that means that they can now actually start moving forward and, and well, win this game. By killing the enemy artillery. Moving forward and trying not to knock over any trees. And there, the artillery shot but missed. He fired, he keeps moving. He doesn't move in a straight line, so the enemy... Whoa, bad luck there. Only 449 health. Down. And now he got shot by the VK, who was still camping in the middle. But that VK is now being put into pressure. We're slowing down again. And well, that VK has to come out. There he is. He bounced the VK. But they still have a Hellcat. VK bounces as well, and well, they've won. A full cap base. Won the game by someone who made a team kill. Rocket Soldier, you did awesome. You earned a top gun, if I'm right. But we are going to see that in the statistics screen. And after that, we are going to watch a quick replay of a second game from Rocket Soldier. So, let's get to the to the statistics. So, here we have the statistics screen. Rocket Soldier in his KV-1S. Well, actually, it's a pretty decent game. 23,000 credits earned, 823 experience, a mastery badge, second class, a Spartan medal, and a Top Gun medal. Earned, well, just without a premium. With a premium, it would be Wow, a bit more, not actually wow, but he would actually earn a bit more. He bounced the VK, so that's a small problem, but if when we look at the team scores, well, he didn't actually get top experience, that Panzer, that Flagbus did over 2000 damage, so he earned most experience, but he didn't win the game. The VK didn't do it, uh, that bad, but instead of um, staying in the middle, he should have moved around and tried to ambush Rocket Soldier and Red Red. So, Rocket Soldier, it says 5 kills, but as you can see here, there's 1, there's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 kills, and a team kill. And all. Oh, 700 team damage, but he actually went AFK after he shot a rocket soldier. So here it says 427 damage dealt to allies. When we look at the details report, he fired 11 shots and hit 10 of those, and 9 penetrated. So that's also almost a sniper medal. I don't know who got that medal. Because that's not stated in this team score. Did a damage of 1772. He received 2 hits and 1 penetrated. 
And the last one, Bayonet VK bounced on his turret. A potential damage received of 490, but actually he received, well, four hits. One from the SU-100Y, one from the M37 who hit him in the back and said sorry, but I don't know if that was an accident or actually aimed at him because we didn't watch that he damaged seven enemies he destroyed six of those and he have he did have some damage upon detecting seems he detected the vk 3001p battle duration exactly 14 and a half minutes so well that's a well done job he actually almost only had to pay 337 credits for causing damage to allies so it seems that when you shoot back at someone it doesn't give you any fine unless the compensation is set back to zero so he actually did so many damage that he had to pay more than he got but you can't believe what's happened so no problem there so this was the first replay and we are now going to watch the second replay from a rocket soldier also in his KV-1S and well after that maybe I have enough time left to do another statistics screen so I hope this will sit well with you. So here we are in the second game from Rocket Soldier again in his KV-1S and still platooned up with Red Rats and they are on well, what's this map called again? And yeah, what a bit failure of brain of my brain there. Too bad. But what what are we going to do? Oh, he's typing. So that was what was happening. That was happening. Greets everyone. We have a YouTube back. Moving forward as fast as I can to maybe get a shot in on that cave in on that M6. And he sees that there actually only was an M a cave one s and an M6 out here. He's forgetting that the M6 shoots faster than him. And he's lucky. The first shot was eaten by his tracks. The second shot bounced. Putting another shot into the M6. Is the third shot was put into his tracks as well. RT misses. So he actually received three sh shells already. He didn't get any damage. And he now misses the M6. So that's bad. That's really really bad. But he's already denying the enemy valuable ground. And there's another bounce. Seems the cave one has is pretty bouncy lately. And one more miss. The Excelsior Tier 5 Premium Heavy Tank. And he puts one into the truck. And he kills the Excelsior. I just need to remember that the KV-1S is still there. What? That's a little bit low damage. Well, only one shot so far has dealt any damage. And uh, that's the second shot that actually dealt any damage. Let's see if the KV-1S is stupid enough. Yeah, he actually is. Uh, he could have put a shot into him. Now, yeah, he got his second kill. 2101 damage so far 
And the enemy has moved around the other side. What was he looking at? A high shell, high damage roll on the K1S. Artillery, let's go on him. And we are moving along with the damage. He's now able to finish off that M6 if the M6 is going to move forward. He decides, yeah, I want to kill the M6 fast. Now he is. Yeah, the KV1S missed. He actually could stay still there on the corner, wait for Rocket Soldier to reload. Then he had, had to make that move and miss a second time. Now he does need to be careful because he's not reloading yet. Let's hope that he's waiting. Then he's lucky again, he gets hit in the track. The track and he actually kills a fifth enemy. 2000, 2818 damage. Wow, if he didn't get lucky there, he would have been killed. He wouldn't have be been able to get that helmet down. Now there's a Jack Panzer 4 in his Maxim's Mexican standoff, actually in a standoff against the T3485, and he even loses. And the T3485 got finished by the artillery and well that got Rocket Soldier his sixth kill denied. So no top gun this time. But he did get something else. Let's take a look. And so here is the third game. Or actually no 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 not the third game. Here are the statistics screen of this replay. And well actually a pretty good victory. 54,000 credits earned, 1290 experience, and a mastery badge, ace tanker. And, well, a steel wall. The medal, that's actually pretty well earned, with all those bounces and track shots he took. And a high caliber damage, because he did at least 20% of total health points of the enemy vehicles. And it's more than a thousand damage. And well, that's all without premium. And oh, wait a second, it's not 54,000 credits, it's 542,000 credits. Wow! I think he actually finished a monthly mission. So that's a very, very, very well done job there. And when we look at the team score, you can see that inexperience wise he has more than double the experience of the second best player. And well, Red Red wasn't that much use in this game. He got eaten up by UB27. And that is a T3485 who did almost 1300 damage. And he's actually best from the enemy team. But wow more than twice the experience of the second best player in his team. And when we look at the detailed report, he fired again 11 shots, he hit 10 and he penetrated 10, doing a total damage of 2818 damage. He received 13 hits, 9 penetrated, although most of those shots hit his tracks and could not damage him with that. One splashed and four did, didn't penetrate. Well, the one that splashed, well, he didn't penetrate, so he's put into that correction as an extra information. And he received a potential damage of 2210 health points. He damaged five enemies and he destroyed five enemies. He damaged, he destroyed all damage. He actually, he destroyed all tanks. He actually damaged. Wow, that took me a long time. And he got 217 damage upon detecting. Rocket Soldier, I hope you are very proud of yourself. With the premium account, 
This thing says you have you should have ma would have made a profit of almost eight hundred thousand credits. Although I know the five hundred thousand is from a monthly event because I had that one finished a little bit earlier. And well, he actually earned forty two thousand nine hundred and ninety one credits and made a profit of twenty seven thousand eighteen eight hundred and nineteen credits without the mission bonus and with a standard account 1290 experience points so that's a pretty high experience point rate without premium rocket soldier well well done i hope we are going to see more like this from you and i hope all of you guys viewing uh, this video have enjoyed watching this I'll see you on the battlefields and watch your bags because maybe I will be there to put some shells into it.